That was the official ribbon cutting for Pitt State's new design and engineering lab at the Kansas Technology Center. And yes, the ribbon was made out of wood. The lab is part of Pitt State's wood technology program, and its conception actually began in 2012. Thanks to former graduate assistants Chris Bell and Scott Vasey's senior project design. We wanted something that was unique, that said, hey, this is wood tech, this is what we do. So when we were thinking, you know, all the way through it, we wanted everything to be unique and one of a kind. Our big uh, thing is the wall behind me, uh, the zebra wood. Uh, we really wanted to incorporate that. And then we have a, a lighter uh, maple flooring to kind of bring some more light in since the ceiling is uh, so dark with the teardrop. So that's what we did. And, you know, we got it all on paper, got, you know, the quotes, all that good stuff. And then they took it and ran with it from there. They being SAW, one of Pitt State's nearly 150 student organizations, which stands for the Society of Architectural Woodworkers. I took the general design ideas that uh, the guys from AFI came up with and started turning it into shop drawings, uh, figured out the material and that kind of stuff. And I'd say about October is when we ordered material and started getting to work at it. And pretty much since then, it's been seven days a week, every single night. Construction on the facility spanned nearly four months and easily tallied over 1,000 man hours. Of course, none of this would be possible without the generous gift made by Advanced Fixtures Incorporated. And for AFI President Tony Ewing and others, opening the door and seeing the facility for the first time was a great moment. Wow, when I opened the door, I was amazed. I mean, I, I'd seen the drawings and the renderings, you know, what back in August and thought this would really look nice. I'm just I'm just really inc impressed. Yeah. It's incredible. This is the first time I've been able to see it. I tried to cheat and try to get them to send me photos and stuff, but nobody uh, would do that. <laughs> you know, and to see somebody else carry out, you know, your thoughts and ideas, it's just, there's no words to express it. It's amazing. I'm not sure I can put in words uh, for my emotions or the feelings when uh, I was able to stand out in the hallway and just watch them come through for the first time and hear their their words and see their smiles and their faces and not only the donating company but I enjoy it for every single student that walks through these doors when they go holy cow or wow or this is awesome. Overall AFI President Tony Ewing was very impressed with the facilities and the quality of our students. Well I love the gorillas you know the, the, the facilities are awesome I haven't seen them all yet I've, I've seen the, the wood tech area and it's very impressive it's good to see that a lot of the students are learning the basics because our industry is, is pretty high tech now and a lot of people when you bring them in you can teach them how to run a piece of equipment uh, pretty quickly but they don't really understand a lot about the wood and it's, it's, it's refreshing to know that you guys are starting them out with the basics so when they come in they have a broader knowledge of the industry.